So the Raptors dropped another game. They're opening uh, their opening game at the NBA tournament, 108-105. Uh, to the shock of absolutely nobody, the Raptors ended up losing the game. They were down really big at half, um, just like that Washington game. I think a lot of people probably tuned out. They made it interesting with a big third, uh, outscoring them 32-19. to But... These are the same problems we're seeing with this team from game one to game 12 that they've had right here. Raptors sitting in 11th place, and that's exactly where they should be if we're being realistic. <clears throat> when the season's done, I don't think anybody's really going to be shocked that this team is sitting exactly where they are. Uh, games under 500, maybe four or five, six games under 500. And I don't want to say I'm losing faith in the team because I didn't have much faith going into the season. And I'm not hating on this team. I want that to be very clear. I'm just kind of calling it like it is. This team's not great. Um, they do have players. Let, let's be real, right? Like you look at teams below them. Do they have more talent? Yeah, probably. But they don't have the depth of of some teams that are ahead of them either. And they don't have really like the... Of course, they have Scotty Barnes. But other than Scotty, when you're looking at players... 23 and Andrew, let's throw that out there. I'm not exactly sure how old OG is. He's probably over 25 now. They don't have the the cupboard isn't exactly full of prospects, right? And I've kind of been on this for a while. And and ever since they've before they won the championship, hate to say it, um, they they made that trade, getting Kawhi and winning the title. But but now more than ever, it's just I don't understand. Well, I do understand. MLSC will not let Masai, will not let Bobby Webster tank in this season or any season for the foreseeable future because they want to make money. I get it. It's a business. You want to make money. But do you not want to, do you not want to play the long game and have this team you know, win another championship or at least contend for one? Because right now, they're not doing that. They're not. Um, Pascal and OG set to be unrestricted free agents in... July is in what? At this point, eight months away, seven, eight months away. Both these guys theoretically and possibly could just walk for nothing. And you're left with a roster where you you, you lost Kyle. You, you get Precious in that deal. And I've gone over Precious already before. I don't want to do it again. You've lost Fred Van Vliet for nothing. And let's fast, there's a fast forward. Let's rewind back 12 months ago. And the Raptors were in the same situation with Fred as they are with Pascal and OG now, right? There was some dialogue. Um, but no contract was done. And like I said, in, in July, we can't really be shocked if Masai sits here, doesn't make a deal at the trade deadline in, in February or March. This team either doesn't make the playoffs or makes the play-in, gets eliminated, or whatever ends up happening, right? Like the trade deadline is going to come. And for whatever reason, management here is going to think that this team can do something. Why? I've been asking this question for so long. Why? <laughs> the definition of stupidity is doing the same thing over and over and, and expecting a different result, right? We saw that last year against Chicago. And the team last year was, I mean, probably better, right? Because at least you had Fred there. And, and I love Dennis. I don't really want to say who's better, who's not. Both players are having pretty good seasons so far. But you can't really expect this team to go into next season with anything, right? Like you trade a first round pick for Pirtle. And I don't even know where I want to begin first. I really like Jacopo. I do. Um, the team did not have a center, which is what I was thinking about as to how to word this. Didn't have a center for how many years, right? Ever since we lost Gasol, this team has not had a legitimate center. They tried to do some patchwork stuff. They tried to do that, you know, five swingman, big wingspans out there. It doesn't work, right? Like you need a, a proper center in the NBA today and more than... Ever, I want to say more than ever, but more in the last 10 years for sure. You need a guy with some size that you can throw out there and, and go against some guys. He needs to be versatile. And and I love Yak, but who are you bidding against in that trade? Right? You send the protected, I believe it's a top six protected pick. God willing, this team misses the playoffs and gets a top six pick, so they keep their pick. But what were you who are you bidding against? You know, I mean, the guy in three months would have been a free unrestricted free agent. You could have signed them for nothing because apparently he wanted to come back anyways. You give the Spurs a first round pick, you you drain your cupboards of whatever resources you have for the future. And and like I said, God love Yak, but like he's not winning a championship for this team, right? Like you're trading a first round pick, you want a pretty impactful guy. And again, he is impactful. I want to just kind of close the door on this, but it's just, again, where's this team going? 
We're in some close games. The fans are getting involved. At the end of the day, these are losses, right? They're losses. It's another L in, in, in the category of losses. And as a season seed holder, I'm not interested in really in going to too many games anymore. I've been to a few. It's just, it's not worth the trek anymore. For me, <laughs> I'm going to go, I can go catch some games when I can, but I'm not exactly dying to go to these games. Um, with, like I said, no direction from this team. I would love to have Masai or, or Bobby Webster take some truth serum, get in front of the camera and tell the fans exactly where this team's supposed to be going because they're clearly not contending for a championship and there's really no direction. I've, I've, I've beat a dead horse with that. Um, team ended up losing to a better team. They made it close. Good job. Um, and like I said, just for the end of the season, I would. that's not going to happen, but I'd like to see these guys go off. Gary's another guy that's going to be unrestricted at the end of the season. These are getting painful to kind of to see what's going to happen. Obviously, the te- not everybody's going to walk because when the musical chairs are done, there's only so many teams that have salary cap space, and some of these guys have to get signed. And the Raptors will, you know, if 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 they lose between OG Gary and Pascal, I'm going to make sure I counted the right names there. Not everybody's going to leave, of course, but at the same time, like if one one guy leaves, two guys leave, then they're going to go into panic mode and feel they have to sign whoever that third guy is, right? even if it does end up being Gary for probably an over mount, over market value price. Um, that being said, um, I mean, homestand wraps up this mini four game homestand Sunday. I mean, I'm probably going to go to the game and, and see Detroit. Obviously they're not a good team, but that's a team with some, you know, good young prospects that they have there um, with Duran at center. Um, the, one of the Thompson twins there, uh, Usar, who, who's looked pretty good so far. And obviously Cade, who I'm a big fan of. So, It's going to be interesting to see how this team comes out to play. Obviously, a must-win game for the Raptors. If you think you're going to get into the playoffs, you have to win this game. And and that's going to wrap it up. So what I'd like to hear from you guys, and God bless if you've made it this far in this rant, but I want to know what you guys think about this team. Um, Are are you still happy? Are you still excited to watch these games, to turn on the TV and and tune into a Raptors game? Are you excited to to follow this team? Um, Like I said, we've climbed the mountain. There, we had those Demar and and, and uh, Kyle years where you're climbing, you're climbing, couldn't get there. You lose to LeBron a few times. Get luckily, get Kawhi. You win the championship, and obviously they've been trending down ever since. But it, again, are are you guys excited to watch this team? Whatever you know, the game time goes. Are, are you running to your TV? Do you care at all, or are you just kind of like let me tune in the box score, follow the team? There's not really any in, anything interesting going on. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to continue to do these videos. Like I said, Sunday I'll be there, so I'll have a bit more insight. I didn't tune into the entire game tonight because I had better things to do. But um, that's going to wrap it up. I'll talk with you guys later. Have a good night.